Hello everyone. This is an introductory session for SGEN. In coming session I will give all the basic information about XGen attributes and settings. And also tells tips and tricks which I have learned during the years. And for the very beginning, we are going to see how to create a guide description. But to remember to set the project as I tell you previously it is a most important step. To create skin description you have to select your model on which you want to make hairs or select the faces with marquee selection or paint tool. But to remember to select the more faces which you want to grow hair because you create the fall off of the density to create more realistic hairs. You can also make a duplicate of the model because it is better to have separate scalp or mesh for our hair. Now I just rename this newly made mesh. Now just clean history and freeze transform. Now it's time to make skin description. You can choose skin workspace from here and make skin shelf visible from here. Click on this button to open it. Now click on a new skin description with the selected model. You can also import preset from the library. Or import collection or description from a previously saved file. But right now I want to create a new description. As I tell you previously naming is very important for skin. So I just name this collection. Put the name of your character which you will be working on. So firstly you have to know that collection is a bigger entity and acts as a container of different descriptions which I make for this character like hair, eyebrow, and skin hair. And description is a smaller entity of characters like namely head hair, eyebrow, etc. So I just name it as the head. Now it's time to choose methods for skin. There are five methods for creating skin. Splines method is used for long hairs. In this method you place guides that will generate the hair according to the shape of guides. The second method is the groomable splines. In this method, random curves are generated across the mesh and we sculpt them by various brushes that are available in this method. The third one is custom geometry. In this you can insert your custom model to generate all over the selected mesh. The fourth one is spheres I generally not used it till now. So I just skip it. And the fifth one is the card which is used for far objects in the background. In this, we place alpha maps as we usually see in the gaming engines. Now this option is to decide where we want to generate X-Gen primitives which is pretty self-explanatory. The first option is random across the model. The second one is at uniform rows and columns. And the third one is at specified points. Now the next option is how we want to control them. There are three methods available. The first one is by placing guides. I mostly use this method. The second method is by the expression which I used rarely as I am not good with expressions. The third option is using grooming tools which deactivated right now as I choose splines here. If I choose groomable splines it became automatically active here. But right now I just choose splines here and placing a guide here. If I go into wireframe you will see some pink dots are visible which means X-Gen is applied to the surface.
but to see we have to place the guides. Just click on this icon which adds guides. Or you can choose from here too. Now I just click on the mesh to make guide shapes but you have to make more than two guides to have visible hair. You can also select them. Scale them to make long hairs. But to see some hairs, you have to go to this button. You can also hide hairs by clicking this button. Now just select guides and right click to edit their shapes which will affect our hairs automatically. You can use soft selection too. Now just click to update our hairs as you see hairs automatically take the shape of nearer guides. So to style our hairs we have to make and edit these guides. You also click this icon to hide guides. Or you can click here too and choose the option as per need that is pretty self-explanatory. We learn more settings in the next session.